Hi there, welcome to part two of what's going on with Trump and the deplatforming of his station or his channel on Twitter. He has been completely deplatformed. They're saying we have to we had to take him out because he was inciting violence and nothing could be further from the truth. Many people who are conservatives are really freaked out because Trump's announcements that said, you know, there will be a a peaceful exchange of power on the 20th, which is not a concession speech, but people took it as a concession speech. And it, what I took it as, as an act of peace from him to try and calm down what was going on with those, um, uh, those, you know, breaches of the White House. And the evidence from that event, the video that has come out from there is showing that in fact, the people who were breaking into the White House were Antifa and BLM, and they were uh, inciting terrorism, and that what actually was going on was that people who were Trump supporters were taking some video and were somewhat trying to break in, but not as much, but that during that um, break-in, I think 10 laptops were taken, and then immediately a whole slew of people resigned because they have only got like 10 days left, right? So why would they resign so fast, except that there's a lot of evidence that was just seized during that. And there's been essentially blackouts. There was a big blackout in Italy. Uh, this ties in with the fraud, the election fraud. The uh, Pope was arrested during the blackout, according to some sources. And what ended up happening is that the Pope is being arrested for all kinds of charges, including election fraud. Now this is publicly, you can find this if you go on DuckDuckGo and look it up. It's not on YouTube, on Google, it's been censored out. But you can find that Italy has been reporting on the election fraud and the participation of the, uh, the, the, uh, the um, Irish, I mean, the Italian um, machines in the election fraud. So this has been, basically verified on public news media in Italy for over a month. They know very well that this was fraud and that there's evidence of fraud with the Italian, uh, you know, faction being part of it. So, and this is also connected to the Pope. So the deal is that secretly the Pope has been arrested and that there are, he's been arrested on 40 counts of child abuse, child pedophilia, trafficking, of, and felony fraud um, with the election fraud that was perpetrated through the Vatican. So, and I will tell you that I've known for many decades that the Vatican is one of the most despicable organizations on the fa face of the earth. It is beyond horrible. And this is about taking down the inside um, secret pedophile ring in the world that has been running the world. Um, if you don't know that this is true, please do some research because this is absolutely true. There's been tons of research. There's actually been video of it that has come out that has been seen um, maybe a couple of years ago. There were some sort of videos that really were sort of conclusive that anybody who watched would know that they were looking at somebody who was doing something very, very abusive so, to a child. So this was, there's been a lot that we have seen that has not been the actual thing, but I'm going to read a tweet from Lynn Wood. Lynn Wood was also deplatformed. And the other thing about the deplatforming is that right now, Apple is trying to, they're deplatforming Parler, which is the free speech alternative to Twitter. So now they're they're throwing all these draconian um, Chinese communist style censorship rules on Parler, telling them they're taking them off of Apple if they do not comply with these anti-free speech um, restrictions. And Apple is also now currently in the process of removing the emergency broadcast system from your phone. The emergency broadcast system. This is the system that tells you if there's a nuclear attack. This is the system that tells you if there's an earthquake. This is the system that broadcasts the Amber Alerts that we get regularly on our phone. This is the emergency broadcast system. It is designed for the safety of the public and it is um, at the president's discretion to use in such a time as it is necessary. They are deplatforming it so that our president cannot speak to us. So that we, he cannot, he's literally gagged and unable to speak to us. This has happened before in history. This is what happened in Germany, in Weimar, Germany. They started taking people away and shutting them down for speaking out. 
And this is, this is truly frightening. And anybody who cares at all about liberty and free will, free speech should be really freaked out about this. So I'm going to read a quote from Lynn Wood, who is one of Trump's attorneys. Um, that was, uh, I think this is from his parlor account because they took him out of Twitter. They took him down. It says uh, from Lynn Wood, a great deal of evidence deals with pedophilia and child sex trafficking laws prohibit it from being transmitted online, of course, because of what it is. So the evidence can only be brought to light in court. You will also be shown evidence at the proper time and through proper channels about the conclusive evidence of election fraud and acts of treason by many against our country. Perhaps most shocking will be the masterful actions of President Trump in ridding our country of debtor state status. This is true. The United States is designated as a debtor state. We are not, here's what he says. Our financial system is a paper fraud. Time for bank bankruptcy and a fresh start. Just think, no income taxes. That is correct. The corporate US is not the same as the constitutional U.S., so we live in a fraudulent system, okay, that exists over the system we think we live in. So we don't have any freedom, even though we think we do, or I say we as a U.S. citizen, people in the United States. Um, so he says it's a good, and this is from Lynn Wood, good time to own gold, silver, land, etc. real assets versus paper. So um, that's the president's lawyer. That's a legendary lawyer, the kind of lawyer that the you know opposition trembles when he walks into the courtroom. So this is a guy who really, really knows what he's doing and is most entirely on the side of the children and the good. He His own story he's spoken about is that he grew up in a domestic violence home. He came home when he was 16 years old and found his mother dead. She had been killed by his father. So he has a very personal stake in what he's doing and he is definitely on the side of what needs to be done for the children and for all the child trafficking that has been happening on our planet and all the millions and millions of people who have been affected by these evils throughout um our history it's really been going on for thousands and thousands of years and so those those are pieces of evidence I want you to understand. I also want you guys to understand that this is why I've been seeing the internet going down because we are in a duality, okay? There's, there's the people who are fighting for freedom and fighting for free speech and fighting for children and fighting for safety of humanity <coughs> and the others who are fighting for vaccines and lockdowns and will continue to use pedophilia and the abuse of children. And one of the way, one of the things that Linwood said that they do, and I don't want to get into too much graphicness, but they use, they, they suck people into, um, you know, these compromising videos where they do things that are horrible and unspeakable to children and they capture it on film so that those, those judges, the Supreme court judges who have denied all of the Trump's cases, it's not because there's not evidence. It's because they are bought and paid for by this blackmail. Okay. So one of the other things that's going to be happening here is that, um, and it could happen soon. It might happen a little later, but, uh, the middle of this month is really a hot time for a lot of these things to happen. We're at the 10th now, the 13th to the 15th is our really big hot zone for things like earthquakes, weather drama, but the Three Gorges Dam can be taken out because of this. There was an executive order that Trump um, signed, which makes a whole host of Chinese, com um, Chinese Communist Party companies illegal for U.S. Co people to own assets in. And... There, that includes the Three Gorges Dam Company the, and the hydro companies that generate electricity out of it. So this, there's billions of dollars in Chinese corporations that become illegal for U.S. Cust, um, you know, citizens to own. And as of Monday, that's going to all affect the stock market. So we can have a really big crash in or a start of a crash in the stock market on Monday. Um, Crypto might go down some as well. Um, the, but this is really big. All these things are huge. We are going to ultimately have announcements from Trump that we 
can hear that are about what's really going on. We are going to get evidence, as Lynn Wood said. There are platforms, and I have a list of some platforms that you can go sign up for to get real information on um, through uh, through a Telegram. Telegram is a good platform. Um, I hate Discord. I will never use Discord. I do not recommend anybody use Discord. It's called Discord, for God's sake. It's all about creating dissension and arguments among people. But Telegram is a really good platform. So here are some of these channels you can follow. Uh, President Trump at real underscore Donald J. Trump, okay? Um, you capitalize D, J, and T in Donald J. Trump. Everything else is lowercase. Um, RSBN is at Right Side Broadcasting Network, and that's every word is capitalized and it's all one word. Um, Candace Owens at Candace Owens, C A N D A C E Owens, O W E N S. I don't know if the capitalizations matter, but it's all one word and you capitalize both first and last name there. Stephen Crowder at Stephen underscore Crowder, his name is capitalized. Um, Donald Trump Jr. at Trump Jr., capital T, capital J. Ben Shapiro at Real Ben Shapiro, his name is capitalized. Ben B and S are capitalized. Um, Dan Bongino at D Bongino, it's capital D, capital B, O N G I N O. Charlie Kirk at Charlie Kirk, capital C H A R L I E, capital K I R K. James Woods at James Woods uh, Real. So it's capital J, capital W, capital R for real. Anyway, there's a long list, including Students for Trump, which is at Trump Students. Again, capital T, capital S. Um, the, da the Daily Wire, which is at Real Daily Wire, capital D, capital W. Daily Caller at capital Daily underscore capital Caller. Breitbart at Breitbart with a capital B. The Blaze at capital The Blaze, capital TV. So capital T, capital B, and capital TV. It's all one word. Newsmax TV at capital Newsmax and then capital T, capital V, all one word. One America News Network, capital O A N N T V, all capitals. Um, NTD, which is at ca all capitals, NTD underscore TV. Every, every letter is capitalized. And Trump Supporters Channel, which is at capital Trump, capital channel. Um, this is huge because we really need to be uh, able to get news and get information. And there was a channel that had some, uh, was broadcasting um a story about um trump and that was i'm going to it was online in fact i have it up on my window here somewhere um hold on let me get it the t the station is newsmaxtv.com um on online it's, its own website so there was some news some uh, um, rumor that trump would address the nation yesterday last night at some time that did not happen um so I don't know when it's going to happen, but there will be announcements coming out. There's a lot coming out. There's a lot that's really going on. There's a lot that has broken free and is in the news. The, the, the story about the Pope having been arrested, that is verifiable through Italian um, law enforcement. The law enforcement have officially said that they have you know, arrested the Pope. This is huge. This is one of the biggest news stories of our lifetime, okay? And the it is the biggest news story of our lifetime because what it's going to lead to, the revelations of what's really been going on behind the scenes is going to take down the entire country of the United States, the entire world, the cabal who runs the world, who has run the world, and remove them from power. This is not going to happen all at once. This is going to take time. This is a very delicate and... Uh, difficult operation but ultimately those people are going to end up dying more than going to prison so you're going to start to see and hear and recognize evidence of what's been really going on 
you're we're going to end up not too long from now within months we're going to start hearing stories of so and so having died and people will be like good that one another one off the planet so there's going to be a lot of secret assassinations of these people but only more or less after we start to get um, an understanding of just how deep and broad this uh corruption is and an understanding in the sense of irrefutable evidence evidence that's being brought to light in a court of law um and there are is a high tribunal type of situation these are sort of international legal treaty issues and i i'm seeing it be sorted out through the legal system on an international level and also the issue of the of the inauguration so um you know, two years ago when I was talking about Trump, I said they're going to try and suspend the election. I believe they did not actually suspend the election. The election was all fraud. I believe the suspension that I was seeing is going to be about the inauguration. I do not see a handing off of power to uh, Biden. I don't see that happening. And um, we have just had the opportunity for a lot of people to expose themselves and reveal what who they're working for, right? Because Pence has now shown that he is working for the side of fraud because he, you know, helped to verify the official election results. He's trying to take the power as well. So we're going to see more and more of these, um, you know, Jonases, these uh, Brutuses, if you will, on a Shakespearean reference. Brutus betrayed Caesar during the fall of Rome, and that's basically what um, Pence did with Trump. And same with um, the, you know, official verification of the, these fraudulent election results. This has all been a betrayal of the president and us, the people. So we are going to see more and more people reveal their colors. And you're going to start to see where everyone's going to recognize that the media is lying. And they're going to start to see how we've been censored and edited. And people are going to really become furious. Those who pay any attention at all. People who don't want to pay attention are just going to be like, yeah, keep my blinders on, give me the vaccine, microchip me, you know, put me into oblivion so I don't have to think. There are people like that, but I'm sure that those of you who are watching me are not on that page. But if you really don't know how deep and broad this corruption goes, please do some research. Please just start researching on this channel, BitChute. There are going to be tons and tons of stations. If you just type in things about pedophilia and, and you know, Pizzagate, you're going to get a lot of information. Planet Comet Ping Pong, okay? That was um, huge. And that was really one of the biggest beginnings of how all of this started coming out on a mass, more mass public um way it's been going on forever i have a lot more um, information about the history of it but i don't want to get into that right now um that's not really what we were just dealing with what's going on at the moment so um that's it and if you want to know more about uh you know predictions and forecasts on bitcoin and prices and when it's going down that's all in my members area so go to my site aurorite.media see there's my name right there aurorite.media and you can sign up uh, but this is all really, really important information. You are going to want to know how to have crypto. If you don't, you are going to want to know when to buy it and when not to buy it and when to sell it and when not to sell it, you know, when to take profits. Because if you don't take profits when it's gone up to places like where it is now, then you never get that money. If the price goes down again, you lose it all. So it's really important to know how and when to do those things. And that is what I key my people into is the time zones, the bra, you know, the times when we are in those profit zones, when we are in the time when you should be taking profits on certain alts, things like that, not just Bitcoin. So, um, that's all in my members area and, um, very, very useful, uh, to the members. So, but this information, what's going on right now is huge. There are huge things going on. There's a, uh, one other piece of information, which is about the internet hack that happened there was something called the solar flare uh hack it was uh, it's basically an update that went into all the computer systems of the government and you know it was sort of the infrastructure of the internet and it has a trojan horse in it and it is designed to go inside and take over the systems from the inside so this is part of what that battle is that's going on 
with the internet. Some of it is censorship. Some of it is the censoring people shutting down the internet. Some of it is, is forces with software that's been made into Trojan horses to go in and take over software. So we are, we're going to actually probably have to scrub the internet level that exists. And there will be another one that is brought up under, you know, behind it that will be more blockchain based, more secure, uh, more decentralized. We're, it, what's going to happen is the entire public is going to reach a point where they don't trust the media, where they don't trust the bankers, where they don't trust most people. They don't trust government in general. We are not going to want government. This is going to take some years for all this to happen. But 2021 is a year where the cabal because they're being revealed, because they're being discovered, because they're basically having to retreat. They have to step back. They're losing ground, okay, in the battle terms. So they are getting more and more vicious, and they are attacking the people in retaliation. And so they're going to be attacking supply chains, things like food supplies, and um, potentially setting off uh, dirty bombs in uh, some big cities. They haven't done that yet, but they would, and, and they will, they will. They will be creating uh, the cover of war, um, like uh, in the Middle East, and, and it's potential that they will set things off in the United States. They're certainly willing to do it. I see it happening. Um, it's all part of the washing out and the shaking out of the corruption and having them reveal their faces and show who they're uh, loyal to. And that way they can be trapped, essentially. And I do see the final battle, and I've been seeing this for years, the final battle on all of this is happening off-world. It's happening on space stations where the good guys come in and just take over the space station control centers. I know it's not supposed to be that we have space stations out there. We're not, you know, that sounds like Star Trek. But yes, we have space stations. We've had them for a long time. We have... Uh, we have space technologies. We have those little triangular, you know, spacecraft that fly out at night. People with, you know, night goggles can see them. Um, all the stuff in Antarctica, that's all going to be revealed. The deep underground stuff is all going to be revealed. A lot of it's going to just get blown up. Um, we have a lot happening and a lot of our actual communication and interaction with the other races of the, the galaxies will, you know, aliens will be revealed. Um, but there's going to be two storylines. One storyline is the, um, you know, the, the dark ones, the grays, the ones that the government has worked with. And these are the ones that have been, you know, participating in all of this dark manipulation, blackmail, you know, enslavement of humanity. These are the ones that are trying to microchip us and vaccinate us so that we are slaves forever. Okay. Those are the ones that our government has been working with and that the cabal who runs the government, they're really above the government in their minds. They're below humanity in my mind because they're very subhuman. But as soon as that stuff starts, that's going to start to be revealed. But then there are also higher vibrational um, off-world alien races and entities that we have interaction with that people on a higher vibrational level are able to communicate with. There's the galactic center. Um, there's a, the Pleiadian uh, galactic council, which I've had communication with. In fact, they were, I was communicating with them a lot around the time I got into Bitcoin. And that's why I got into Bitcoin in 2016. So, um, they, you know, it was very clear that this is what was, you know, it was going to help me to do this and to be involved in it and that it was going to be part of what was being unfolding in the future here. So there are a lot of higher vibrational, um, ener entities and energies, which, you know, could be called angels. There's a cosmology in, um, in the Catholic church, in the religious teachings with those, um, with a listing of the angels and the demons. And the thing is that the Catholic Church, they understand the who these entities are, and they are working with the demons. And those demons are also the dark gray reptilian entities that are both off-world and from inside the planet. And they have been uh, corrupted by these dark evil forces, and that's who they work with. And they um, there's a lot of stuff in the media, if you know what you're looking for, that is actual specific demonic faces they look certain ways there's one that um has that uh 
that uh, tentacle face that was in the Pirates of the Caribbean. That's one, a Hulu, Cthulhu. Okay, my son knows this one called Cthulhu. And a lot of the video games have names of all these because the reason they tell these things to the kids or put them in the media is because the more attention they get, the more we help to manifest it. This is why we don't watch evil, horrible stories. This is why I've never watched horror stories. They scare me. And I don't want to use my consciousness to help manifest those types of forces. So they put these things into the media for the purpose of helping to manifest their powers onto the earth to manipulate us with them. So don't watch that stuff. Don't tune into it. Don't believe that the evil has to win. Don't believe any of that. It's not true. Tune into the positive, tune into the higher cosmology of the angels, which are also alien beings. And some of them non-physical, some of them we access through non-physical ways. And the, the fifth dimension, we connect with those higher vibrational energies. God, it's so good to be on BitChute and be able to just speak freely and not, and be able to actually talk about this stuff. I can't, I've been, you know, holding back on a lot of things I wanted to say on YouTube, but here on BitChute, I can speak. So the, uh, that cosmology of higher vibrational beings is part of the final battle that's going to be, is going to take place because what really has to happen on earth is that we have to have enough humans, enough percentage of the population wake up and say, no, we will not allow these things to happen because as long as we do not take responsibility for our own manifestations, for our own choice, then we the basically the argument or the excuse that is used by the lower vibrational forces is that humans are children and they must be looked after and as long as they don't as long as we don't um step up and say we want to be in charge of our own lives then we will allow these other forces to be in charge of us and so until we enough of us wake up and say no we're not having this i want responsibility for myself i own myself this is so important that we all must step up and say, I own myself. I take responsibility for myself. I make my own choices. I will manifest my own reality. Thank you very much. I don't need your dark, evil reality. I want positive, benevolent reality where people are respectful of each other and where there is love and compassion as the real ruling force of the land. That's what I want. That is how we say no to these dark forces on an individual level. So it's really important for each of us to do that. Um, but we have tools available to us now for tapping into find out what's actually going on on the planet because you're not being told the truth. The media is a lie. You cannot trust anything it's telling you. So please turn off your news on the TV and start doing some real research and make sure you're using other search engines. Don't use Google. Use DuckDuckGo. Use other sources for your information. So that's a big heads up on sort of what is really going on. And a lot of these are the themes that you're going to see unfolding in 2021. You really want to own real solid, tangible um, value, silver, gold, not gold, not so much, mostly silver. I mean, gold is okay, but it's not going to have the same value as silver. Um, land is good, but not yet. I'm not buying land yet. Cryptos, of course, but you have to know when to be in and out of those cryptos in order to succeed there. So that is, the, and also there are certain currencies that are going to change and do really, you know, go up in value. Others are going to really go down, but there's a big revaluation of all the planetary money that's coming. The Jisara Nisara thing is kind of a bit of a disinformation thing. So don't be getting all caught up in hoping for all debt forgiveness. It's not necessarily going to work like that. It will be a wiping out of the old system though. And this is what Lynn Wood just said. He said that they're going to uh, um, uphold, uproot the fraud. This is fraud. Our government is fraud. America has been operating under a fraudulent system since the thirties. And they um, had this, this session of Congress where they created the corporate United States and it's an illegal session of Congress because it was never adjourned. It was never ended. So it can be overthrown legally. So that's a, that's a big um, sort of heads up on all of what's going on. And that's going to be enough for now, but I will be providing more updates, um, especially in the members area where I do frequent um, 
uh, market updates on what's going on in the crypto sphere. And I did just do three uh, for all three member levels. I have basic pro and, and VIP member levels. I did my webinars this week, just in the last few days. I did all three of those. So if you sign up, you'll get access to whichever level you're at. If you're VIP, you get all three webinars. If you're pro, you get basic and the pro webinar. And if you're basic, you get the basic level webinar, which has a lot of great information in it. Plenty for nearly everyone. So um, that is it. And thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.